This is gonna be something. I can't wait to eat flies. Probably scooped up from the dumpster outside and the fire festival of avocado toast. What the f is that? No. Yo, yeah. This is disgusting. What up? Sorry that we didn't upload last week. Between her channels and work, and it was just like a, it was a very uh, eventful Yeah, week. it's been a lot to keep up with three channels, plus he has a full-time job. It was just like, mm -hmm. we needed like one day just to like relax and like enjoy each other's like company and stuff instead yeah. of like, working and like constantly even though we enjoy doing this it's just like we need to like relax for once because yeah. like we never do but we're back hi we're back hopefully we we're never here. miss a sunday upload again that's not our goal that's not our intentions no. like i mean going into this we wanted to hit it consistently every week and we just had that little hiccup so hopefully we can bounce back from that hiccup make up for that hiccup and uh move forward with you know mm -hmm the streak we broke our like youtube streak i think it was like a six week streak <laughs> seven week yeah around there we broke, we but yeah up. fire is gone the streak is gone we gotta start over now. let's just pretend like <laughs> we uploaded let like you know what i mean like that didn't happen let's treat it like school and get like a bathroom pass yeah that was our bathroom pass <laughs> exactly or like doing it wasn't there like homework passes yeah there was yeah that was that like was a homework, homework pass. pass okay you know just one just one pass for every quarter exactly. um <laughs> for every quarter yeah explicit. we get no. four uh youtube upload <laughs> passes <laughs> a year? that's actually pretty good that would be cool we might have we to make a like, let, little yeah we need to have like an agreement with you guys yeah let's see if we can solidify that in the comments you know make it happen you know bring it back today. oh yeah don't forget to subscribe yes don't forget to subscribe like turn on the comment, post notifications crack that bell like we in philly so you're notified every single time we post because guys we're gonna be going on vacation in like two to three weeks no wait 13 more days yeah it starts. we have like two places that we're going to Ooh. first one's not really vacation for me it's a long story but the second one is definitely i'm so excited it's gonna be my first time at this place so i'm super excited she's gonna be my amazing beautiful tour guide because she's been there and we're gonna have so much fun and it's gonna be our first vacation together also guys like we're not legit. we're not going to tulum mexico everyone thought we were going there because of my truth or drink video on my channel we're not going there but it's somewhere tropical yeah try and to you, guess yeah. both places i want to see if people below. can go two for two and guess on where we're going first and then where we're going second yeah because it's going back to back like Drake. i'm so excited so in today's video it's gonna be a little bittersweet here because we are gonna try the worst restaurant in seattle the worst, the worst. one and star I'm or was say, it half a star i think it might have been half or one do we say the restaurant oh i'm saying the restaurant other youtubers here oh i don't know we caught you guys and you oh, guys were capping you guys were capping because so, ooh, go you know ahead those, oh my god so we're doing the trend where it's like the least rated restaurant in your city mm -hmm. so i was looking up like places in seattle and i found some other youtubers that live in seattle and they rated like restaurants and stuff they would not say the restaurant mm. name, mm. but my investigation, like, I'm literally a spy. <laughs> Broke it I, down. I was like, it's on Broadway, and then I could see the Chase Bank, so then I went to Maps, and I was like, mm. that's Chase Bank, that's the restaurant, and then I searched the restaurant, I'm literally so creepy, I searched the restaurant, and that restaurant was a four star a not four. a one star happen, so happen. what i was thinking is they probably didn't want to waste their money on like a one star restaurant or they just like i don't know i don't know i don't know but the thought, thought process here. but we're not capping no. this is literally a one star restaurant it has some horrible reviews we'll include obviously. them right here and on top of that the name of the title I don't know if we should... refers to a fly yes and which they had it in their food so i can't wait to eat flies i don't think we should say the name of the restaurant i think we should just mm. say that it's in we'll just know. say it's on thompson street in seattle and it has the word fly in it you can do your research like i did and you'll see that it is one star so yes. yeah we're gonna go do that i'm and... bittersweet my dad was literally like i don't know if you should do this you oh, know yeah. type thing because my dad's a chef so he like literally is all for food all this he's like, i don't know if you should do it you might get sick this and that and i'm like oh no he kind of like spooked me a little bit on it but you know what we're doing it yes, and i would get food poisoning for a video i'm gonna it's get for the content i'm gonna get my honest opinion on this place obviously the looks of it just by looking i'm not gonna judge it by that just off the photos and everything like that we get my honest 
honest opinion, I do believe this is actually a one-star restaurant. Yeah, we'll I include do. the screenshots and stuff, but yeah, there is literally an actual fly and some other stuff in that food. Mm. Um, it's an Asian restaurant, but yeah, we're about to leave. We're gonna go there and do a whole review. You'll see inside the restaurant. We'll show everything. Yeah, I'm so. just getting details and all that. I don't oh, know. Man. This is gonna be something. Oh, the boy. worst, man, I, I'm all for five-star, four-star, even yeah. three-star, like, because to be honest, like Yelp reviews are very like inconsistent because some people mm -hmm. will be like, oh, this and this and that. And like, it just like doesn't make sense and doesn't add up with the match. I just feel like they just, I don't know. Like, yeah. I don't know what I'm looking for here. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be on some stuff. But what does that say? How long have we Seven minutes? Jesus, we were talking for a minute. Really? Damn, we missed you guys, I guess. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's go. All right. Boom, we out. Okay, wow. Look at the Space Needle today. She's... Poppin'. The area is very, uh, there's a lot of hotels over down by here, Con some construction going on. You good? Get my uh oh, Shawty over here getting parking. But yeah, you got a nice little view here. Uh, ooh, ready? The Space Needle. I think the restaurant is like right past the stop sign on the right, so that's where we're headed. I think it's at Northeastern University. We got, uh, some hotels and stuff like that. Still very, you know, in the busy part of the town. Well, not as busy part, but still stuff going on still active over here yeah i don't see any spots for just like regular parking it's kind of hard to find that in seattle you got my guy over there playing top flight security you know no entry going over there so we got to pay for parking in the little machine okay so that took like a freaking century to figure out the parking thing this thing wasn't working and then i had to make an account for that thing real quick oh my goodness okay so we have like i think 48 minutes hopefully that's enough time it should be plenty of time it should be <laughs> more time yeah i don't think it's gonna take that long so let's go oh my gosh Hello? guys so we made it we've been literally circling around trying to find this place it's right here right here closed it closed at four but on google it freaking says that it's open until 6, 6. p.m yeah what? monday through friday 11 a.m it literally 6. says till 6 p.m the sign in there says monday through friday 11 a.m to 4 p.m i think that's just for the deal though yeah i'm so confused oh no but i'm this so is confused but that's it. the restaurant um, I don't know if you guys can see over there on that sign. This is dining customers. Please use that's paper, for happy hour. paper plates and tray. Babe, oh. that's for happy hour. I'm so confused. No, like, what? Just I don't get it. Right it's closed there. on the weekends, too. Damn. Oh, babe. Damn, that really they is one star for you. Get off work, so I, mean. I know. Just calling for shits and giggles. There's yeah, nothing look in the refrigerator. Like, no drinks. Yeah, they ain't answering. I like don't a, know. Oh, man. This look like a low grade Panda Express. <laughs> okay, back to the car we go. We're gonna try to find another restaurant. Okay, we're looking on Yelp and we found this place. It has one and a half stars, but only problem. The hours are 10.30 to 2.30 p.m. What? What kind of hours are those? Okay, guys, so we found the second option. Thank goodness this restaurant is a one and a half stars and it's actually attached to the Red Line Hotel. So we're not gonna say the actual restaurant name, but if you wanna look on Google, you can look on Google. Google. I don't want to like bash this restaurant. I mean, it's out in the public, so I mean, it's like that is true. But it's in a Red Lion hotel. I'll include the screenshots. But I saw this Yelp review, and it says great chicken with zero seasoning, probably scooped up from the dumpster outside, and the fire festival of avocado toast. Twenty eight dollars for this, the like fire festival. Yeah, the, she really said that. Oh no, that's supposed to be avocado toast. Look at the chicken. No flavor. They didn't put no salt or pepper. No pepper. No pepper flakes. That thing is just oh man yeah. this is we're in for a treat on this one people were also talking about the smell too of how bad it smelled in there and it was hard to even enjoy their food which you're not enjoying good food and you smell bad so when you open up yelp there's literally so many one star reviews oh, oh there's a five star what did he say great wings and garlic fries well <laughs> looks like i'm getting wings and garlic fries but there's like most of them are like all one star so we're gonna we're gonna oh, there's another one. Oh, mac and jacks because they have a good deal of um, beer. <laughs> yeah, most of the reviews are one star. And also the parking lot, completely empty. Like Nobody. no one. Just that one car. 
Hey. Which they're chilling but in the back, so I don't know what they are. They're to. in the back seat? Yeah, there's somebody in the back seat. What? They probably, you know, they're doing getting... the thing to thing. Oh my god, there's someone in the back seat. Okay, well, let's go. It's so empty. It feels like a ghost town. Oh man. This is the entrance right here. Oh, oh wow. man. This is so weird. There's the hotel rooms. This looks so sketch. Damn, look, they even got the curtains out so you can't even <laughs> see up in there. They also said that the customer service is not very good, so we're about to find out right now. Oh boy. I'm like literally so over this. Hey, how hard is it to go to a horrible restaurant? Is it that like tough? So they're closed. I think, I don't even know. The doors are just locked, but it says it's open on the website. I don't know what's up with these places. <laughs> I don't get it. They're affected by COVID, but they just can't operate nothing. Though. Okay, well, I'm annoyed. So we'll probably be back tomorrow and figure something out. Yeah, I don't know. We looked at like closest spots in Seattle and near Seattle and can't find a spot that's open that's horrible to eat at. Maybe it's just a sign. I don't know, but I'm over it. All right. Did you think you would see us again? Did you think that was it? It wasn't, because no. we're back. We're not giving up. Nope, it's a new day. When I'm on this side, it, it like distorts my face. Do you see that? Um, no. Oh, I just look like that? <laughs> Great. So we found um, a place north of Seattle. Yep. North Seattle-ish. They have a one and a half star? A solid one star. Oh, it's one. Yeah, and they're known for wraps and pizza, and there's a lot of bad reviews. Like, people <laughs> were like, you know how you should check Yelp before that? This is one of those moments. People usually go to their go-to pizza place, and that wasn't available, so they went here, and <laughs> it wasn't good for them. It wasn't Apparently, good. fights happen outside here. Like, they said the kitchen staff fights with each other as well, so like, I don't know. Someone said I wouldn't even buy it for my worst enemy. Enemy. We ordered Damn. this butter chicken pizza through DoorDash. The pizza was not even Indian, just cheese and barely any toppings. They might have even added powder Indian spice just to say it has something Indian. And the size of the dough was barely 10 inches. They got their measuring stick out too. <laughs> We're not messing around. What was the other one? Literally, if I go to QFC and buy a DiGiorno frozen pizza, the taste and the size would be 10 times better. Dang. And you guys know I love me some pizza, so I feel like... Oh. Well, have like, a good review. It shouldn't be hard to mess up pizza. No. What was the other this one? This one says, place is so bad, we ordered pasta, the penne. It was all oregano. That's like all you tasted. Spaghetti was also bad, but edible. Don't order anything pasta or anything close to this place. They might have other good food, but not worth it. As you can see from the other one star reviews. So we need to order the penne pasta for we need sure. To order uh, the penne pasta, a pizza, and a wrap. I okay, think that yep. should stretch it out a little bit. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. On Yelp, it says that you can only take out and deliver. Should we walk up and just make sure? It's yeah, why not? If okay. not, we can eat it in here. And we'll show you guys the outside of the restaurant. I won't show you the name, but it is in Lake City, <laughs> Seattle. So, and if it's probably the only one star in this area, yeah, you can look on Yelp, you'll find it. Um, but yeah, let's go out there and get this pizza. Get it. I mean, I, I don't, don't know. know about that. And this is a legitimate <laughs> one star, even though it has 25 reviews. I'd say that's still good enough. It's not like one of those like five people said it's one star, you know? like, there's this multiple is... reviews that are like pretty bad, but yeah, this is the outside, there it's a little are. bit down more, but it's on the main street, yeah, because this would literally we've been on this since the freeway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're about to order hot pizza. Yeah, it hot literally pizza. doesn't have the name on there, so we didn't know if it was this place or that place because they literally don't have their name on here. Yeah. They just have it on the But menu. this is the outside. We're going to get the classic pepperoni pizza, the penne pasta, and then what wrap should what we get? What penne pasta is it, though? Can we get the chicken wrap? And then also we're going to get the penne chicken garlic sauce. Yeah, it says penne chicken garlic sauce. Do you, you have that? Or you, you don't, don't have, have it? Oh. oh, it's on the menu. What pastas do you have available? Okay. Just spaghetti and fettuccine? Should we do spaghetti? Which one's better? Which one would you recommend, the spaghetti or the fettuccine? Let's do fettuccine. I know, but white, white. white sauce. Yeah, white, white sauce, sauce. Yeah. yeah. And then also a pepperoni pizza. Oh, okay. I'm just shocked by that one. She was like, oh, another order? <laughs> I don't even want to eat this stuff. Oh my god. She didn't wash her hands. She just like rinsed it. This seems like a hazard. Oh, this is definitely a violation of the health department. 
We also just ordered, but she hasn't like gave us a receipt to pay. I'm like confused. She's like, I don't know, she's over by the fax machine. I don't know what she's doing. She's fax, no printer. <laughs> Okay, so... I don't know how I feel about this right now. Yeah, we're waiting outside of it right now. It's, like, pretty bad. Like, I've never seen a restaurant mm. this bad, and I'm not trying to, like, be a hater, but you guys saw when we asked for the penne pasta, she was like, um, what did she say? She was confused because she was like, we don't have that. And I was like, it's on the menu. And she was like, oh, let me check what pastas we have. And so then she, like, looked in the fridge and literally, like, she just lifted up, like, these two bins. And, like, she was like, oh, we have fettuccine or spaghetti. And I'm like, bruh. That's it? Like, you have all these different, like, types of pastas and that's yeah, it? Yeah, it does not seem very sanitary I don't in know. there, I feel like I have honest. to watch because I don't, like... I don't know. I don't trust her making the food right now. But, like, the pan that she used, that's just been sitting there. Yeah, it looks really bad. And then when I left just now, like, she literally would open the fridge again and, like, was, like, putting it on the pan. So, like... I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know about this. We're working in a restaurant and seeing the behind the scenes and stuff. And, like, this right here. I don't know. I don't know. Jalen's going inside to like watch how she does. We're not being dramatic or anything, but this is like pretty bad. But this is the like outdoor sitting as like writing on the table, but yeah. How long has it been, babe? Uh, well, it's probably been like 20 minutes or so. I walked in there, she said it was almost done because she was begging some. Oh, right. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, do you have a card? card? Okay. Yeah. Oh man, the packaging is cute. Oh, so cute, oh. right? So look at that. Oh, all that grease and shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. All the fingerprints and everything. Mm, okay, uh, let's see what this pizza looks like. All right. I mean, okay. I mean, it doesn't look okay. bad. I mean, it just it's a little. <gasps> oh, what? Wait, why did it? I'm so confused. Is it cooked? Oh my god, it's not cooked. I don't think that is, because that's still soft. That's still doughy. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. I'm like genuinely concerned. Okay, I love me some pizza, but the smell of this does not smell good at all. Oh, you can't even smell it. It, it smells... doesn't smell good, right? It's the cheese. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, guys, so Sorry. we're inside the car because I heard back the audio and it sounded really loud with all the cars going by us, so we're in the car. I'm like genuinely like i don't know that pizza i don't know like the cheese smells oh, I, don't, I can't cool. get to what it is I don't like know if you can see that but it's like yeah uh oh no yeah right there their hands were really greasy they just literally wrapped everything up and it was just boom 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 so now like grease is kind of like this? everywhere that might be bread what the f is that it's just bread turn it over Oh. Yeah, it's just garlic bread. Oh, it looks weird. I was like, what is <laughs> that? <laughs> that everything is probably okay. bad, but... I don't know, the pizza just didn't look like it was done. Oh, should we try it... the pizza first? Yeah, I mean, if you want to get it out of the way. I don't know if you guys got a good look the first time. It's the cheese. I don't know what... It's the cheese that's, like, very over-aggressive in flavor. Oh. Or, I mean, in smell. It's not really, like, cooked that well. <sighs> Alright, ready? I don't even think that deserves a cheers. It tastes like cafeteria pizza. Yeah, don't chew it that much. I don't know how you're eating that. The pizza is not good. Not good. That's not definitely good. one star. One star um, pizza right there. I'm not trying to be like rude or anything, but it's no. just like pretty bad. Like I'm surprised this is open. It's like bad. <laughs> like walking in, like if I was in this area and I walked in, I would easily just walk out. There's We're not trying no to be way. like rude at all, mm -mm, but not I mean you guys saw from the pictures, like You can judge for yourself. I mean, yeah. would you if you walked in and you saw what we saw, would you order anything on this menu? Menu. That's pretty much how you gotta just like put it in perspective like I'm not for like bashing restaurants like me working in a restaurant I understand how stuff operates and like when people get bad reviews for like pointless stuff like I understand that Ah, Yeah, mm -hmm. this one's this one's pretty bad like that cheese kind of kills it. It's nasty I don't even know what kind of cheese that is. Yeah, that Damn, cheese your is... hands are so greasy <laughs> Yeah, I know it's from Here. this wrap. Oh, that's the wrap right there. Yeah, this is the wrap Okay. okay. It doesn't look bad. No, this doesn't look bad at all. Presentation looks good. This is so what the far. wrap looks like. Um, trying to get like a inside look of it. Okay, you got the chicken, tomatoes, the onions, lettuce. This one doesn't look bad. Okay. It smells good too. Okay. okay. Should I Maybe the... pizza is just not their thing. No. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 
Okay. Like, it's not bad. It's not bad. I it tastes it, pretty good. I say it's I'm average. just not comfortable like finishing it. And I know we're wasting food, but I just don't. I feel like we're gonna get like sick or something. Yeah. After seeing so all I that just, stuff, like literally, if it wasn't for this video, I would not eat this stuff. No. 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 Last item is the fettuccine. Why did it cut ranch? <laughs> Maybe that's for the pizza. I know, but why is it all? I know, up? I just that's don't so understand. Weird. We didn't even ask for ranch, so that's so nice. I love ranch. Can't mess that up. Okay, let's see. I don't think we have any silverware. Yes, we oh, do. Oh, we do? Because they didn't give us, and when I grabbed napkins, he was like, You need forks too? And I was like, I don't think they're in the bag. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, this doesn't look bad. Like that doesn't look bad at all. It smells, it smells like curry. Yeah, it smells like curry. It might be like curry chicken fettuccine. Oh. That's what I think. And I think it was like the same thing with the uh, wrap as well. Because I kind of smelt a little curry in there. That doesn't smell that bad. A little Steph. The <laughs> Steph curry. So we tried to get the penne one. So we're not going to be able to like taste the oregano that someone was <laughs> yeah. complaining about. I don't know what. So, uh, okay. There might be oregano in here though. But it doesn't look like it's over like powering. I don't know. Should I get a piece of chicken? No. <laughs> Cheers. No, that has no flavor. It just tastes like noodles. I'd say the worst is the pizza, then the fettuccine, and then the. Uh, I feel wrap. so wasteful, but I I don't want people to think we're like coming off as like. A rude but it's and like, really bad. It's not good. No, I totally understand. Like that's the thing. We're not coming off bad or rude or anything. Like we're giving our honest opinion on it. Like yeah. the wrap wasn't that bad. I would say it's like an average, you know, wrap. Yeah, the wrap wasn't bad. Yeah, the pizza was no. Not like you good. can see, it wasn't no. done. Like it wasn't crispy on the crust. Like there was something up with the cheese. I don't know what type of cheese that yeah, was. That, but that was not was, cheddar. It's Parmesan, type of cheese whatever that don't go on pizza. Is. <laughs> that's for Mozzarella sure. Mozzarella cheese. That was not it. And then the pasta, like that the one is. No. no. Just right off that first bite, I was like, yeah, I, I didn't no. taste anything. It was not. This definitely was a one star oh. restaurant. Um, I'd give it a half star if I could. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, from the overall experience, I'd give it literally like it a half star seem, because it doesn't seem sanitary. Like, honestly, I feel like someone needs to like just walk by and just oh, man. <laughs> grade the place. Yeah, it's not good. We need to stop at like the grocery store. I need to wash my mouth out. I need like a Sprite or <laughs> like something or Gatorade or like. I, I don't want to get sick. Um, But yeah, let us know if you guys want us to rate another no. one star restaurant no. or if we should do the like five star, the best Please. rated restaurant in Seattle. <laughs> we will do that. That sounds way more fun. Oh yeah, that <laughs> one I'd go ham yeah. on that one. I'd literally just. Everything. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, Truffle. also, when she was like cooking. <laughs> <laughs> when she was like cooking the food, she was also still eating her like ice cream cone. Yeah, from... and then there's another dude that came from the back alley because right over back here is an alley. He came through. He started helping her. I don't know. Like she, she had her mask like barely on. He didn't even have a mask. I don't think. No. And then like two other people just showed up like prior to our food being done. And Ew, yeah, this is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well. well we hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hopefully we don't get sick. Follow us on Instagram and find out. Cross yeah, our fingers girl, that we don't get you'll sick. You'll know, but, but let hopefully us know. we don't. Um, I'm hungry. Yeah, I want some, some good food. food and that's it for this one. Um, <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. Turn on those post notifications. Crack be notified when we upload. Yep, and we'll see you in the next video. Next Sunday. Sorry out, Jalen out. Peace. <laughs>